In today's video, we're doing all new Dollar Tree bathroom DIYs. And if you're new here, I'm Liz and I love doing Dollar Tree DIYs. Today I have organization ideas, I have beautiful decor you can put out in your bathroom, but of course everything is super budget friendly. Looking at color trends for 2023, I've been noticing a lot more pinks and blush and rose gold colors, so I definitely wanted to integrate those in today's video. First up, we're gonna make some containers. Now I bought these containers at Dollar Tree. They're pretty easy to find over in the kitchen section. I got two of the larger ones and one of the smaller ones. I'm also going to be using two of the wood rings that you can find in the craft section at Dollar Tree and I'm going to start by sawing these in half. I used a hand saw that I had on hand and I just elevated the rings and cut them down the middle. And then I'm going to be using E6000 to attach my rings to the top of each of my containers. Once the E6000 has a chance to dry, I'm going to be using a metallic finish spray paint by Rust-Oleum. I'm going to spray two coats on the top of my containers. I'll let that dry completely. Then you can add anything either decorative or useful in your containers that you want to put out in your bathroom. I'm going to be adding in some bath salts with the pink ones and some other bath salts that I had at my home. And here's a look at how the containers turned out. Now I couldn't have a bathroom DIY video without doing a soap container. One of my favorite projects that I've done in the past is get a really pretty jar, a mason jar typically from Dollar Tree and turn it into a soap container. I did it in the fall with a pumpkin jar and I recently found these gorgeous jars at Dollar Tree and thought they would be perfect for it. So you wanna pick up any jar, you also wanna pick up a container of soap from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to remove the lid from the jar and I'm gonna start using my wire cutters. I'm gonna poke a hole in the middle of my lid. Then I'm going to go on the inside of the lid and use those wire cutters to pull back the metal. Now you wanna do this very slowly. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid out of your soap container remove the inside tube portion, and then you're going to place the top of the soap container onto your jar. The key is you wanna pull the metal back until this top of your soap container will fit onto the lid, but you don't wanna go far enough that you see the opening. I kinda just pull the metal a little bit and try to put it on there and just adjust it until it works out great. To attach the top of your soap container to the lid, you're gonna use a little bit of E6000. I'll spray paint the lid with a Rust-Oleum hammered finish spray paint. Once that dries, I'm gonna fill up my jar with the rest of the soap from the soap container I had before, or you can use any soap that you have. Now, I think anytime you can put your soap container on top of a tray or elevate it, it just looks so much nicer in your bathroom. So I found this wood piece in the craft section at Dollar Tree. I also picked up some of these little tiny wood cubes, and that's what I'm gonna use for this next project. I'm gonna hot glue the wood cubes to the bottom side where it's smaller on all four corners of my tray. I'm gonna stain the wood with a color called golden oak. I use a foam brush and I paint it onto my tray. Then I will take a paper towel and immediately wipe off any excess. Let that dry completely and I'm gonna show you how I style my tray with my soap on top. I'm also using a candle from Dollar Tree. In these bathroom DIY videos, I love creating home decor that you can use as organization, but it's also really pretty and you can sit out in your bathroom. And I feel like this next DIY really does that. So I bought a plastic succulent tray at Dollar Tree. This is typically over in the party section. You're also going to need some nautical rope. They sell this at Dollar Tree, but I typically buy mine off of Amazon. I'll link it for you down below. So if you've seen any of my rope tray videos before, you know I love making a rope tray. This one's a little bit different. So I'm gonna start in the center by hot gluing the rope in the very middle and I'm going to wrap it as tightly as possible. As I go around, I'm gonna to continue to add hot glue. The trick that I like to do when making these rope trays is you wanna make your rope really tight together so you don't have any gaps. That's gonna make it look so much more high end. I'm gonna to continue to add glue all the way around. Also, when you're putting your glue on, make sure it's a nice thin layer because you don't want a lot of glue sitting up on top of your rope. Trust me, it's gonna look a lot better in the end. So I'm gonna add the rope and 
until I get to the edge of my tray. Now, once you get to the edge, you're going to continue to add a layer to the top. We're wanting to curve it around the edge. I'm gonna continue to add rope to the outside layer. Then I'm going to flip my tray upside down and do the edges that you would see if the tray was sitting out. I'll continue to add hot glue and nautical rope. And then once I get to the inner portion, I'll stop there because that's gonna be sitting where you're not gonna be able to see it. I'll cut off the excess and hot glue the end. To style the tray, I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree vase. I'm also going to use a pot that I already had with some florals that were in my stash. And then the candle is from Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find this candle this year. One thing that can be a little tricky to figure out in a bathroom are some good wall art ideas. And in this video, I actually have three different ones to share with you. This first one is a floating shelf idea. So you're going to pick up two frames at Dollar Tree. These are eight by 10 frames. I also picked up two of their black floating shelves. Now I've actually never used these before, so I was excited to try them in this project. So with your frame, you're gonna remove all of the contents, the glass, everything. I'm also going to use my wire cutters to actually pull out the metal backing pieces on the back of the frame. These come out fairly easily. Then take the plastic off of your floating shelves. And then I'm gonna use some E6000 on the edge of my floating shelves and I'm gonna place them on the front of my frames. Now I want to do this so that I have a little bit of area at the bottom as well as a larger area at the top. Now with my second frame, I'm going to do the exact same thing, making sure I put my shelf at the same height on both of the frames. Now with E6000, you wanna let this dry completely overnight, just so it has a really secure bond. And then you can use command strips to hang these on the wall in your bathroom. You can also put anything you want on top of here. I styled them two different ways with two different Dollar Tree vases and succulents. If you have not checked out the new containers they have at Dollar Tree, you need to go look in the organization section. I found these pink containers. I was so excited. I thought they would be perfect for organizing items in the bathroom and maybe in a drawer because they're so shallow. So I picked up two of these pink containers. Another item you can find at Dollar Tree is their peel and stick wallpaper. I really like this one with like the white and gold look, but there's probably, I think six to eight different options to choose from. So I'm gonna put the wallpaper at the bottom of these containers just to kind of finish them off make them look a little bit more high end. So I put the wallpaper down, put my tray on top. I'm gonna use a pencil to draw around the bottom of my tray. Then I will cut it out. I'm going to place it at the bottom without peeling off the sticky, just to kind of figure out if I need to cut any additional off. Then I'm gonna freehand it. So I'll cut off any areas that need to be cut off, put it back into the container. And once I have it exactly how I want it, I'll pull off the sticky and place it down. I love the way they turned out and they're gonna be perfect for my makeup. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is DIY. Let's do another easy wall art idea. So you're going to get a board from Lowe's or anywhere and you want it to be 12 inches wide and about three to four feet long. I'm gonna mark the board so that I cut pieces that are 12 feet long. So I'm just going to use my tape measure and then mark it across with a pencil. I'm gonna cut on the lines with my miter saw. So I'm just going to cut the board one way and then I'll flip it over and cut it the rest of the way. I find this is the easiest way to cut boards. I'm gonna cut all three pieces. I wanted to add some holes to the top of my board so that I could put some florals in there. So I'm gonna use my drill to drill down some holes. And I picked my drill bit based on the size of the floral stems that I was going to use. And at the top, I'm going to drill three holes in the middle. Once I have all of my holes drilled, I'm gonna come back in and sand the boards anywhere where I had you know, pieces kind of hanging off from where I had to cut them. Also, I like to sand the front of my boards before I stain them. I'm gonna use the same color golden oak. I'm gonna brush it on with a foam brush and wipe it off with a paper towel. 
Once those dry, my last step is to add in some eucalyptus florals. I have this garland in my stash, so I'm gonna cut off three pieces and put those in the top where I had made the holes. Now to hang these on the wall, I'm just going to use some command strips on the back and I'll place them together in a row. And here's a look at how this wall art turned out. Let's talk a few storage containers that you can use for your bathroom. So this first one, you're going to need a mason jar or some type of jar. You're also going to need another little container for the top. I'm gonna to be using this button container that you can get in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start by gluing the mason jar lid to the outer rim so that this is one piece all stuck together. Then I'm going to remove the labels, which always takes the longest amount of time. I'm also gonna be using some Goo Gone to help me get those labels off. I'm gonna be spray painting both of the lids with the hammer colored spray paint. Once that dries, I'm going to assemble everything together. So I'm gonna take my clear jar and I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue and add it to the top of my mason jar lid. I'm gonna fill the bottom up with cotton balls. And with the top, I'm actually going to put in some Q-tips. Now, as I put in the Q-tips, I realized that the lid didn't fit on really well, but I figured since it was kind of at an angle, I could just leave the lid off and it would be a great way to store my Q-tips. Now another organization item that I found at Dollar Tree was this iridescent jar. I absolutely love the way this jar looked and the top was actually in a rose gold color, but I wanted the color to fit in just a little bit more with my color scheme. I'm gonna spray paint the lid with the hammered finish. I love to use jars like this to store my lipsticks in. I think it works out really well. I'm gonna show you how to display the Q-tip containers and the lipstick container on my rope tray that I made earlier. And I'm also going to add in a little succulent plant from Dollar Tree. Now, if you're a Dollar Tree shopper, you probably know that Dollar Tree has these little magnetic containers in a pack of two. They also have this magnetic board that they sell in the frame section. So I thought this would be great for organizing items in a bathroom. I picked up the magnetic board and three of the packs of the metal tins, and I'm gonna use these to organize in my bathroom. I didn't paint or do anything to this. I'm just going to hang the magnetic board on my wall. You could also put this on a cabinet. I think that would work really well. You're gonna use some command strips on the back and just adhere it to the wall. Then with your containers, you can add in different things like hair accessories, you could add in bobby pins, rubber bands, really anything that you want to store that's a smaller item. And you can put them in your bins and put them up on the board. This board is going to hold six of the containers. Since I was really trying to go with a set color scheme in this video, as I was walking around Dollar Tree, I found these butterflies and I really loved their neutral mauve look. I felt like these would be a perfect wall art piece that was a little bit unexpected. So I'm going to use these butterflies as well as some wood beads. I'll link them for you down in the description box and some twine. I'm gonna start by cutting a large piece of twine. I'm gonna tie a double knot at the end of my twine and then I'll add on some of my beads at the bottom. Next, I'm going to tie a knot at the top of the beads. I decided to figure out what butterflies I wanted to use. I want the butterflies to double up so that if they get turned the wrong way, you could still see the butterflies. So I got two butterflies, starting with the larger butterflies up top, going down smaller as they gradually get lower. I'm next going to attach my butterflies to my rope using hot glue. So I'll put the back one on and then put hot glue on the white side and put a butterfly on top. I'll go up a little bit farther and continually add on butterflies, trying to make my spacing about the same for each of the butterflies. Once I get to the top, I'm gonna tie a knot at the top of my butterfly. I'm gonna add on three more beads. Tie another knot. You can put this anywhere in your bathroom. I put mine on my door.
All right, it's your turn to vote on your favorite bathroom DIY in this video. I love knowing your opinion, so go down to the comments and let me know which one was your favorite. Don't be afraid to try that project you've always wanted to try. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you subscribe because I want to see you back here. Bye.